Okay, so this is Obsession. It's a VR chat horror game that Johnny Chu, Stocky Frog 14, and I played once. Um, I have a VR chat video of all three of us going through it the first time, but this video is a speed run. Uh, we're starting off by selecting player two. It is the closest to the first key. So we're running into here and we're going to grab this first key here. This is, I believe, the purple key. Good luck, boys. Damn it. <laughs> uh, we figured out later on that all the players start in different positions, but the two items we want to grab before we go upstairs is this little puppet and the key that I already have here. Yeah, that's a very non-zero lead. Sorry. I, I legitimately didn't know. Now, this VR chat world is actually very well developed, so it's a really good world. Go play it. Um, as you saw there, we dropped the purple key into the lock. All right. Brimstone, stalactite, white, amethyst, red. These five items you need to make one of the items. It's like a medicine okay. or something that you need to beat the world. So we dropped off the key. We dropped off the puppet. We came in here immediately to make it, and we eat it. And then we go back to that door that we just unlocked, leaving that puppet there. Now, the point of that item is to see, like, what times you'll see. There's clocks later on that you see what times they are. But instead of checking out the times, which are always the same, we're going to run into the attic here and rip down a bunch of charms. I don't know exactly what they're called, but they're basically there to seal away demons or something to that effect. But... Anyway, so we're just kind of running around. There's eight of them to rip off. You can see there's a little symbol on the front of the screen here. Shows us how many of the symbols, how many of those tags that we ripped off. They're always in the same spot. So the routing for this particular world is pretty, uh, it's pretty execution based. We're going down the creepy baby stairs. Not really a whole lot to talk about right here. We're kind of doing some of the jump scares out of order, but um, this uh, this world is really well developed. And if you're looking for a really interesting VR horror experience, I can't recommend it highly enough. But in this room, we're going to grab the orange key. You can see that there's a lot of like text popping up on the screen and whatnot. The world requires you to basically trigger all of the events before you can actually beat it. And by going into the orange room, we trigger this text box that just went off, and that we, we need that in order to beat the world. So we're going to go get the second puppet. However, the second puppet has a jump scare attached to it, so we're running down the hall now. Uh, if you are sensitive to jump scares, it, there's going to be one coming up here soon. So to recap, basically what we've done at this point is we've unlocked two rooms, we created the medicine or the charm or the tea or whatever it is. Uh, we ate it. We got two of the shadow puppets. Did I already say that? I don't even remember. And we're already off to set those down so we can go on to the next part. This room's kind of annoying. You'll see what I mean in a minute when we come back with that other puppet. But for right now, we're going to set the clocks. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> couldn't get the drawer to stay open here but basically we're setting the times and again the times are located around the office behind the purple lock once you've eaten that medicine jesus i forgot about that jump scare i always forget about that jump scare but this is why this room is pretty annoying um oh that's so good <laughs> How I'm looking out, by the way, is I'm just literally stepping forward. <laughs> we had a theory that we could do everything oh. to make the clock slide away, the, the clock wall slide, while we were sitting and waiting for this. Hey, this is like a time optimization. Yeah, I didn't realize two was that far, that big of a lead. Yeah, the doors are easy to get stuck on. It's so frustrating. They really are. It's kind of hard. You got to remember which doors open where, or else you'll get stuck on them so easily. Antsy, antsy, antsy. We're stuck in this room until this little movie is done. Just a boy and his frog set in the time. Na 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 na. <laughs> that must mean that your guys' route is going pretty well, though. I mean, pretty even. If you guys are up each other's ass, literally. <laughs> Wait, what? 
Oh no. That's right. What? Why didn't I start? Did you get the orange room? Johnny, she missed something. Did uh. Oh no! <laughs> what did he forget to he do? For he forgot to walk in and get the voice line. Oh, yeah. That the clock it. wall that we were all setting won't actually move until you've seen all of the events. I'm close to the end of you. I, I, the, my door is open. I literally just got to go do the last room. Okay. This is... I got I, to I, I wait for the... Oh, that's what I meant. What, what... Oh, oh, oh. It's it's finished. It's finishing up in a second. Come on, you damn fucking door. <laughs> He's so frustrated. Uh, all right, so we're done with the movie. We're going into the office to grab the red key, which is the second to last item that we need. Uh, the point of the yeah, movie... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the point of the movie was to show you the solution to this final room here. Um, and then after that, we have basically one last exit sequence here. But um, we had a lot of fun playing this this world over and over again and trying to optimize the routing and there's still plenty of spots where we can uh improve inner outer middle 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 inner inner and that was based on the movie there's a, a, a right. frame at the end of the movie that that'll one. show you what the actual uh, ring dog, is lion uh horse skip bunny and here's the final key. Oh my god, this is silky. Silky, huh? I don't know. I don't know what my word choice was, but we go to leave, and the, door the door's locked. Open. The jump scare. And this is the final jump scare. You're not going to see too much of it, but it's literally a chase. Um, All right, do not choke the the run. The literal run. <laughs> Check out the other video with Stocky Frog 14 Johnny Chu and I where we play this world for the very first time and where everything's super scary. Um, you'll be able to see the actual chase taking place a lot, a lot better, just the way I had the camera set up. But this is it. We're already down to the final segment here. Um, a quick trick here if you're running this world is to jump down the stairs. You will go so much faster than if you were just to run regularly. And then lean forward to put the key into the final well. Yes. Oh, that was close. That's probably the fastest I did that. I don't think I've ever seen him move after the chase was over. In, 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 in. Whew. And that's it. We just have the final, like, credits thing we have to go through. And that's the run. Oh, my God. That was amazing. My heart is racing right now. I have no idea how I'd be able to do that any faster. It's like, I mean, it's like micro optimizations at this point. Holy fuck. No, there's some improvements. Well, that's though. assuming that this route is faster than my other one. That's right. This run was actually a attempt with a different idea that Stocky and I had come up with, um, where instead of doing the medicine first, instead of doing the attic first, we run all the way and do the puppet, the shadow puppet video first. So this was actually our first time running this particular route. And I'm going to do it again later, but I just wanted to show you guys this game, this world. This world is amazing. It's really, really cool. It's it's pretty scary the first time through, not going to lie. Um, definitely check out the other video that we're uploading here soon. I have to finish editing it, and I'm going to say something. I honestly think that the only thing between this route and my la my other one is that the you're just kind of rearranging when the run back is. But I guess we'll find out what the time was. Oh, man. Player 2 really does have such a commanding lead. Good lord. And what I mean by that is in the first room where the well is at the very end there, there's four different like corridors, basically. And when you load into Obsession, there's four different players that you can choose from. It's basically like, think about it like compass points, north, south, east, and west. Player two just happens to start right next to the door where the key is. So there's no backtracking, say, if you were to be player four or player one. Uh, so if you do want to try this to run this world and compete with our times, by all means, please do um, upload a video. Let us know about it. Let us know what your time is. If you want, join my discord. It's in the description down below and share some screenshots with us. But 
if you are going to run this, you're going to try to, it's a very easy speed run to get into. Definitely start with player two. Uh, you're going to hear towards the end once we're talking in the final part of the room where we decide, look, if we're going to race this, we all need to be in our own instance and start on player two. It's just that much of a commanding lead. Like it cannot be overstated enough. I'm pretty sure Stocky's going to show up here soon. Yep, here he is. <laughs> Stocky's running in from the distance. <laughs> Boing, 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 boing. One thing I forgot to mention is I think I, I can't prove it. I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but I think jumping while running gives you a little bit of speed. <laughs> <laughs> chat chat with you in a moment. I'm warping. I, I believe. I believe. <laughs> and that's all for my commentary. Thanks for listening. Oh. I think I did better. <gasps> yeah, suffice it to say that was my best time all night. What'd you get? 12.30. Nice, 12 dude. and change. What'd you do? 10.42. Just... <laughs> yeah, no. I'm, I'm not racing you anymore. <laughs> no, come on. It'll be fun. No, so here's the thing about the races. If we're going to race, we all need to be on our own instance so we can all use player two. This is true. I don't know. I I under 13. Nice, dude. High five. Nice. High five. So I, I was just telling Saki, if we're going to do races with this to make it fair, we should all, like, we could be in Discord, but we should all be on our own instance so we all get player two. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because player two is, that's O-P-A-F.